Okay, different types of grips. This is a regular deadlift grip. She has her left hand supinated here. Your hand is reversed like that just because of the fact that it helps hold the bar in that position. Okay, okay. this is the right handed, same thing, just flipped hands. The previous slide I said alternating hands. One thing I'm going to kind of add as a side is if you do the, use this grip, which most people do, you make sure you alternate your grips on a frequent basis. The reason I say that is that especially with uh, uh, most old time powerlifters, they always deadlift and say this way. Well, the problem with, say, if the left hand is supinated like this, is that the right hand over a period of time, or the right upper body, actually, tends to start to become more protracted, twisted this way, even just when they're standing there talking to you. The left hand, because it's like this, is back, so they generally don't have that problem. And you can actually see changes in their paraspinal musculature in the back by with, you know, I can actually just take someone's shirt off if they've been doing that for a long time and tell them which hand is which, based on that, based on where their hands were. So what I recommend to people is either you do one of two things. Alternate your hands each set, flip back and forth, or the entire workout, do one way and write it down, and the entire workout the next time you do that. But the thing is, I'll tell people as far as competition-wise, you know, compete with the grip that's your be that you feel is your best. So let's say you, this way is your best way. Yeah, that's fine, but still train both ways. And you train both ways not so much to help you in competition, but to make your, sure your body adapts and grows the same way both sides. Okay?